In this video I will be joining Trunet's guild to Active Directory. I'm starting this video from my github page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video and I will leave the URL in the description down below. And I didn't plan to make this video but I did get a request on one of my other videos and I decided to do it. So in this video I will be joining Trunet's guild to Active Directory domain, after that I will create a network share. And then I will show you how to access that chair using a domain user and then non-domain user. And the reason for demonstrating non-domain users is that after we join the scale to Active Directory, we need to provide a bit more information when we enter credentials to access the network share. And the information about this topic on the internet, in my experience, is a bit confusing and misleading in some cases. Anyways, to follow along with this video, you already need to have the network configuration configured on your Trunet Skill server. Basically, you need a static IP address, gateway, DNS, hostname, and domain entered in your configuration. And if you don't know how to configure it, you can check out the video that I have here in my GitHub page. And now to begin this video, I will go to my VMware workstation where I have my server environment and here I also have my Trunet Scale instance opened. And now to join Trunet Scale to Active Directory, I will go to Credentials, Directory Services, and here we need to click on Configure Active Directory. Then we need to provide the domain name. In my case, my domain name is ad.letsdoautomation. Dot com and now we need to provide our domain account name and this part is a bit complicated because in the documentation and also other guides on the internet it says that we have to use administrator account to join through net scale to active directory but i don't see the reason why and also i don't like to use administrative privileges in areas where I don't have to. Because if you don't have any additional restrictions in your domain, a normal user account should be perfectly fine for joining to Active Directory. So my recommendation would be to create a normal user account for joining to NetScale to Active Directory and then add additional permissions if necessary. And I will be doing it myself in this video. So now to create a user account for joining to NetScale to Active Directory, I will go to my server manager, then tools, and then users and computers. Then I will go to my administrator's organization unit and here I will create a new user account. I will name him scale and I will give the same logon name. Click next. In here I will select uh, password never expires and then provide a password. Then let's click finish. So now we have a regular user account. As you can see, he is only in domain users and we can use it to join the Trunet Scale to Active Directory. So let's go back to Trunet Scale. Let's enter our user account. Let's enter our password. And then we need to provide the NetBIOS name. And the NetBIOS name is basically a computer name for our Trunet Scale server. The default value for some reason in here is Trunet Scale and it does not use the host name. So I want to use the host name and my host name for this instance is scale03. So this will be the computer name that we will see in Active Directory. So I will set to whatever I like and then we need to select enable and then let's click on save. Now we need to wait a bit. And as you can see, we successfully joined through a skill server to Active Directory using a normal domain user account. And now if I go back to users and computers and click on computers container, here we can see our TrueNet Skill server, and here we can see the NetBIOS name, so it was Skill03 that we entered when we performed the join operation. So you can see that the computer object was successfully created by using a normal user account without any additional permissions. And now if I go back to my TrueNet Skill server and then credentials and users, here you can see that I have all of my domain users in here. And then if I go to credentials and groups, you can also see that I have my domain groups in here. That means that I can use my domain users and groups for setting up permissions for my network shares in TrueNet Scale. And now to demonstrate this, I will create a very basic network share with all of the default settings. And to do that, I will go to datasets, click on my pool, then I will click on add dataset. In here I will provide a name, I will name my dataset data. Then for the preset, I will select SMB. I will make sure that create SMB share is also checked and then I will click on save. Now I will enable the SMB service. And now if I go to shares and then on this newly created share, if I go to permissions, 
you will see that by default now all of my domain users and all my domain administrators have permissions to access this share. My domain users have the modify permissions and my domain admins have full control. And I will not go into details about permissions in this video. For this video, I just want to demonstrate that my domain users can access shares that are created in Turner scale. And to demonstrate this, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here in Vembar workstation. As you can see, this is a Windows 11 computer that is joined to my domain. And currently I signed in with one of my domain user accounts named John Doe. Now to access the share, I will just open File Explorer and then enter my TrueNAS host name. So in this case, it's scale03. If I press enter, you can see that we can see the data share that I created in this video. I can access it. I can create files inside of it. I can also create folders inside of it. So everything seems to be working just fine. And the last thing that I want to demonstrate in this video is accessing shares using non-domain user accounts because it's a bit different now that we joined Active Directory. So once again, I will go back to my Turner Skill server. Here we can see the permissions for the share that I created. And also, same as my domain users, the built-in users also have the modify permissions. That means that the user accounts that I have locally on my Turner Skill server should also be able to access that share without any problems. And to demonstrate that, I will create a local account here in my Trunet Skills server. So for that, I will go to Credentials Users, and then I will click on Add. I will create a user named Bob. I will provide a password. And that's basically it. We need to make sure that SMB user checkbox is checked. And we can click on Save. Now, if I go to a computer that is not joined to my Active Directory, as you can see, this is also a local account. And if I go try to go to my network share, so I will enter my PL server name, press enter. You can see that it is asking me for credentials. Now, if I enter the username, so it was Bob, and provide the password and click OK, you can see that the username or password is incorrect even though I'm pretty sure that I'm entering the correct uh, credentials. And the reason for that is that now it's not enough just to provide the username. We also need to provide the, the domain if we want to access the share using a domain account, or if we are using the local user that is created on the Trinet Skill server, we need to enter the host name. So I will click more choices, and then I will select use different user, and here, Instead of just adding uh, entering Bob, I will enter scale03 slash and then Bob. And now if I enter my password and click OK, you can see that I am also uh, able to access this share and also modify the files in it and create other files inside of the share. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.